Welcome to our tutorial on serialized inventory items. In this video, you will learn how to create and track parts with serial numbers. You may have a lot of parts in your inventory that have serial numbers on them, but that doesn't mean you'll want to track them all. You'll most likely want to set up the larger or more expensive items to be tracked by their serial number. Remember, you cannot receive, adjust, or sell any serialized item without its serial number. We'll start by opening the inventory entry screen from the inventory menu. First, type in the part number that you want to assign to this serialized part and assign a description. For the part type, we'll select Serial. Something to remember here is that once you have your part type selected, it cannot be changed. As we do for all parts, we'll need to select a category and subcategory for this item. You'll want to set this item to Post to Equipment so that you'll be able to find this particular unit even after it's sold. Since you'll have this item posting to the customer's equipment record, you'll want to fill in the information on the Manufacturer tab as well. You may also wish to set this part to Post to History so that the sale of the item can be reviewed in the future from the customer's history record. Be sure to fill in any other fields or tabs that are relevant to this part. You may fill in as much or as little information as you wish. When you're done, click Save on the toolbar. Now we need to receive this item into stock. To do this, we'll head over to our Vendor menu and select Receive Items. This screen is used for receiving items into stock that you have purchased from your vendors. We cover this feature in full detail in our Purchasing and Receiving tutorial. For now, we're simply going to receive in a serialized part. First, select your vendor, then the date received. You may backdate this if need be, but be as accurate as possible. You may also want to fill in the Received By and Terms fields, though it's not absolutely necessary. For the Type field, select Item, and for Item, select the serialized part that you have created. Be sure the quantity for this item is set to 1. Since ESC will require a serial number for each item, you'll have to create a line for each individual serial part you are accepting into inventory. Next to Quantity, fill in the unit cost for this part. This is the amount that you have paid for the item. You can change the warehouse that you are receiving the item for, but for this example, we'll leave it at the main warehouse. Here is where you enter the serial number for each part you are receiving. You can only enter one serial number in this field, so that's why we've left the quantity at 1. When ordering in bulk or on consignment, you may also want to enter a lot number, though it isn't necessary. That's all you need to enter for receiving a serialized item, but you also have the option to enter a job or dispatch number if you know where that serialized item is going when it's sold. Each additional serial item that you receive will need to be entered on a line of its own. When you're done, click Save and the item will be entered into stock. You'll be able to see the serialized item you have in stock on reports such as the Physical Worksheet, the Inventory Activity Report, and the Floor Plan Report. We'll cover more about these in our advanced video tutorials. Now that the item has been set up and received into your inventory, it's time to place the item on an invoice. To do this, go to your Sales menu and select Sales Invoicing. If you are not familiar with creating invoices, please see our sales tutorials first. Begin by setting up the invoice. Select your customer and fill in your general information. Be sure to select the correct warehouse where your serial item is being stored, and then select the item itself. Once you have entered the part number, a small dialog box will appear and display all serial numbers available to be sold. Select your serial number and click OK. Now the Add Equipment screen will appear. Most of the information for this piece of equipment will be filled out already, but you have the ability to add more information or notes using this screen. When you're done, click OK. Once the invoice is saved, this item will be removed from stock and entered into the customer's equipment record. This concludes our tutorial on creating and managing serialized items.